I don't know where in a vlog this will be. I'm 11 weeks today. Here's a little bump action. And I'm not pushing it out. I'm not sucking anything in. I have my little setup here to take bump photos. I really should have started taking bump photos earlier on in my pregnancy, but I took one at seven weeks and then most of the other times on the day, the day Wednesdays that fall on the days that I'm actually turning a new week, I'm off of work. Um, my work schedule has switched as well. I went from full-time to part-time, so I don't work on Wednesdays anymore. And, and I fall on a, a, a turn a new week that day, so that's kind of like exciting. But all the other days, I've pretty much just been able to actually be myself and uh, the ultrasound pictures are back there, which is fine now because this vlog will come out after I announce. But it's um, what was I saying? Oh, I haven't been feeling well. Like, I'm able to be myself, not pretend that I'm feeling okay when I'm not. And not just trying to like literally make it through the day. I'm able to actually rest and relax in the fact that I'm nauseous. Or that I threw up. Or that my back aches, my tailbone aches, that I'm tired. I don't have to hide those things. So taking a picture was the furthest thing from my mind. I also just woke up from a nap like almost an hour ago. And this is the first time I've talked since I woke up from a nap. So... I'm just like short of breath but and I will hello focus on me and I will share this um in a first trimester update but ginger tea has literally been helping me a little bit for that matter anyway but when I'm feeling really nauseous ginger tea or ginger beer um, I got a recommendation to try ginger beer and I have like the ginger beer but it's like it's a little too strong so then I get burpy and I noticed one day that I had um, heartburn for like a split second but I think it was because I ate and then I laid right down and I had the ginger beer so it wasn't like digesting properly but I'm gonna take my pictures it's I'm 11 weeks today so I am finally going to take my start doing bump pictures weekly like I'm gonna make it a thing because um, I don't know just like the fear I guess and wow we're getting vulnerable this is what happens when you haven't recorded and you just turn on a camera but in the beginning of my pregnancy I experienced a lot of fear um, fear from knowing people who had a miscarriage or just the fear that I could be I could be someone who goes through a miscarriage and there was just so much fear built up in the unknown and then by like you being so like, like in the beginning of my first trimester for sure I would be like some days I would feel pregnant and some days I would not and I would literally think something was wrong with the baby and then I remember vividly at six weeks it was Wednesday night pretty much Thursday morning I woke up to use the bathroom and I didn't really turn the bathroom light on I just turned the light on my closet and I was sitting there and I thought I saw something in my shorts and so I turned the light on and I start wiping and there's blood not a little bit there's blood and I was like oh my gosh and I worked germ up and I was just literally sitting there numb because I thought I was losing the baby and then I saw blood clots and I thought the blood clots was the baby and I was like I was just like devastated I was just numb I didn't know what to say I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to feel and so germ don't go to google because google is just that have you think you're dying 
when you put in bleeding or like blood clots obviously miscarriage comes up and that no other options come up and so but i didn't have cramping and i kept saying well i don't have cramping but like this is a miscarriage and that's one little thing right there speak words of life and not death because there's so much power in the tongue and basically all i could do because it was like late early thursday morning like after midnight all i could do was go back to sleep and i was literally just praying and i can't tell if i was like actually awake or if it was just the holy spirit in my dreams kept putting scripture on my mind but i would just keep repeating like scripture that god loves this baby more than i even love this baby and that he knit this baby in my womb and just things like that i mean it was it was it was you know, like oh, what are you saying right now it was hard because then i woke up um and as soon as i could call the doctor's office i did i pretty much didn't sleep and they was like okay come in at 10 30 and it was like eight and i'm like oh my gosh so i just got when i woke up again it wasn't as much spotting but it was still there i mean it wasn't as much blood it was like spotting at this point but it was like the fact that it was still there i still don't feel any cramps but i think i know what this is and i literally broke down once germ like woke up and um it was just it was tough but thank god for my husband who's a praying man because he prayed over me and us and baby and we just played some worship music we got ready and we went to the doctors and it was so nerve-wracking i literally had a pad on because that's how much blood it was but at this point in the morning i was still spotting so i could have just had a panty liner on but i had a bad because i was nervous but anyway and we get to the doctor's office and we go in this dark room so first of all we go in this room and i don't think the nurse knew what why we was there at first i thought i think she thought we was just there for like an eight week checkup at this point i'm only six weeks and so she's like we first were in this bright room and then she's just start asking when my last period was she's like oh and i could hear the nurse in the ob talking no she should only be six weeks and then then they're like talking about why I was there and so then they're like oh we're actually gonna move you to a different room and it's in this dark secluded room in the back and not really lit very dim it just looked very sad and gloomy like out of a movie scene like you're pre we're preparing you for the worst news you can get but we just kept praying and trying to Maine was just trying to keep me calm and then um we get there and the doctor's just asking questions and she's just like you know well we're not gonna know what it is she's like even we'll do a sonogram but you're six weeks you're still so early we're not gonna hear a heartbeat right now um we're pretty much only maybe a be able to see baby and um still just don't get yourself worried because um you're so far along the fact that they don't even see people this early that uh they won't know anything until they get blood work done the main thing they wanted to see is my hcg levels rising so this was a thursday and i would have to go back on a saturday to get my blood drawn but anyway this was our baby at six weeks and if you can see here this is called a hematoma so as soon as she put the little stick inside of me we saw baby right there and i was like relieved i'm like oh that's the baby she's like that's the baby and if you see here this is a is it focusing she was like this is a hematoma which is causing your bleeding and i'm like why didn't that come up on google <laughs> had me over here thinking the worst and so she was just, just then just like clarifying that, you know, blood is not, she said like, I feel like um, OBs will say different things because one OB said, 
you know blood's not normal and another one was like well if you're spotting um this early on in your pregnancy that that can be normal which one is it anyway this ob said blood of any type is not normal and regardless if you see it just call us she's like the main thing you don't want to see is like basically like you're literally on your period and you're having cramps like painful cramps and I'm like okay well that blood I don't know maybe I was I don't think no I know I wasn't over exaggerating I saw three blood clots and there was a lot of blood but it was just no cramping but anyway I'm just grateful to God that it was a hematoma and it wasn't the baby but I was just so afraid I started like doubting myself like what did I do to cause this you just can't think things like that because regardless you could be super healthy and super careful things happen inside of God's plan and in his timing and so it's out of our control so the best thing to do is just to literally just pray and put our trust in the Lord and um, literally wait for results but so that's what we had to do for two days and after that happened I was like no I want to tell my mom because at this point only me and Maine knew and only one other friend knew and that's literally because we're pregnant together and so nobody knew and we even at the point of us like bleeding nobody knew and I wanted that comfort support of family I wanted that comfort support of my mother so we ended up telling my mother on her birthday that Saturday after the blood draw but anyway Saturday comes I get up really early to get the blood drawn and then I didn't get the results back till Monday but Monday they had called me while I was in the patient's room and I literally did not care I told that patient hold on and I answered to mom right there <laughs> and she was like good news Miss Nicholson your HCG levels are rising that's what doctor my doctor's name wanted to hear and I was just like glory to God <laughs> baby's okay but there's just so much fear that can be wrapped up in the first trimester and I think my point of sharing this was I I mean luckily thankfully I think it was around week eight I just like stopped I'm like I'm not about to keep after that hematoma, I kept like praying to the Lord, like increase my trust in you, remove the fear. Like I want to enjoy this pregnancy and I would just do like little private devotionals of prayers over my baby and I would kind of journal and I would talk to my husband a lot about my fears and like literally just give it over to the Lord. And I'm like, Lord, why am I still struggling with this? Like I am choosing not to live in fear on the stool i'm going to rejoice and be happy every step of this pregnancy because if something did go wrong i want to at least like been able to love this baby with all that i have for the time that the baby was in my womb and so after that change mindset it was through the it was literally the grace of god because i just kind of stopped being so fearful and I was excited and I was like I don't like want to wait to tell people anymore like we just want to tell our family we want to tell our friends so we started telling more family and we told all family before we told friends and then we slowly gradually started getting <clears throat> into telling friends That's how it went and um, I'm just rejoicing every step of the way. But today I woke up and I was like, no, I am going to start taking pictures because by nighttime my belly be looking full blown. But like I want to capture it in the morning when I haven't eaten anything or if it has to be right after I throw up. And so be it. At least my stomach's empty so I can get a real representation of my belly. But I just want to take all the document of this growth. Um, literally the start of our family. So I'm just excited.
I'm calling. Yeah, maybe I'm selfish. I'll talk. I want you to myself. I can't help it. All my.